Good morning, guys. It's your boy Jared Campisi checking in. Um, it is Tuesday, November 10th. Uh, today, I'm going to be taking you guys along for a back workout, uh, back and biceps with my buddy Mark, and uh, I'll film as much as I possibly can for you. Um, right now, I'm rocking one of the new Rise Driven Performance Driven T-shirts. Super sick. The little this is a like a light blue color. Very very nice. Also picked up some uh, racers. They just look so good for pictures and stuff, and uh, they're a lot more comfortable for running than my uh, whatever the hell these are called. I'm borderline retarded in the morning, guys, so I apologize. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys to a back workout. Oh yeah, uh, I just got a bunch of the new Rise stuff. A little sneak peek. They sent me a ridiculous amount of things. Um, I'll be doing a review video for you guys to help with sizing and all the different colors, tell you my favorite stuff, um, and help you guys get uh, what you want. So, yeah, got a Rise lever belt down there too I need to put together. But anywho, um, I'm gonna go make a shake, head to work for a little bit, and then I'll catch you guys at the gym. Good? Yeah. All right, what's up guys? Today, I'm here with my friend, Mark. It's gone YouTube. As you can see, he's rocking some of his gear. Right Shout here. him out right there. It's gonna be on ascensionsportswear.com in about two weeks. There you go, baby. How old are you? 18. 18 years old, Always already starting companies. Yeah. Hanging out with these, young, these old guys like me. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna take you through back and biceps. He's gonna do it with me. So uh, I've been wanting to get him on the channel. This guy works his ass off. He might know more about bodybuilding than I do. I don't know about that. <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. All right, here we go. All right, what up guys? Uh, coming at you with a little commentary action here. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, I am exhausted. Just in general, just beat up. I think I took one day off in the past two weeks. So, uh, yeah, on low calories, heavy amounts of intense workouts, and uh, that's what it takes to get down into the low single-digit body fat percentages. So, whew, I'm going to do my best here. I apologize if my uh, energy levels are not as entertaining as they usually are, but uh, we're just going to get through it. So, did a back and biceps workout today with uh, Mark. He is... Uh, friend who I met in the gym and uh, he's a huge advocate of bodybuilding, natural bodybuilding and uh, men's physique and all that kind of stuff. So we had some fun. We've been, he's been wanting to train with me. So I told him, come on over, let's train. So uh, we started off with deadlifts. Uh, this is my set of 405 we worked up to. Um, I could have got a couple of these, but honestly, it didn't feel very good on my lower back. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to back off. So um, Mark tried to pull the 405 and I left this clip in even though he told me not to <laughs> because he said he's been working up to his one rep max like for the past like for like four or five six weeks in a row and I was like dude uh if your strength is going down first of all you shouldn't be doing that on a weekly basis second of all it and that, that's what I told him like if your strength is going down then two things are happening one either you're cutting you're not having enough calories or two you're in a, uh, you're overtraining so that's a very classic sign. If, you're, if your lifts are going down, guys, you're probably overtraining. I'm in a cut right now, so of course my, my strength has gone down a little bit, but that's what's gonna happen when you're eating less calories. You have less energy, etc. cetera. So um, I told Mark he, he's gonna actually take a deload week next week. So um, you know, I, I was glad that I could share that with him and I wanted to show you guys as well. People who say overtraining isn't real, guys. I'm sorry, I just 100% disagree with that. Um, maybe for someone who's using, if you have a perfect diet, a perfect sleep schedule, you have no stress in your life, um, you do this for a living, you know, you have all the time to recover and all that, then maybe, yeah, you can train as hard as you want every day. Or if you have other things involved, drugs, etc. But for all the rest of us natural people who live real lives, work full-time jobs, all that kind of stuff, um, overtraining is a real thing. So just be careful. So anyway, we started off, did a bunch of sets of deadlifts. Um, and then moved on to some pull downs. I think I was using 180 here. And um, so the, the whole point of this is just because I'm in a cut doesn't mean I'm not lifting as heavy as I possibly can. Um, in some cases, guys, I'm using more weight than I usually do. 
that's just the way it is. I mean, honestly, yeah, I've, I, I think I started my cut around 182, um, 183, something like that. And uh, currently I'm about 175. So I've lost like eight pounds. There's Christina in the background being an idiot. <laughs> I've lost like eight or nine pounds, but honestly, my strength has stayed very, very close to what it was before. Yeah, my big compound lifts aren't as good, but um, you know, my lat pull downs, my rows, my bicep curls, all that kind of stuff has been very close to what it was before. So, um, you know, if you lift heavy to build all that muscle, then you should continue lifting heavy to keep that muscle. Um, I think a lot of people when they go into prep, they're on low calories, they're tired, they start doing just high reps and low weight and they think that they wonder why they look like shit for their competitions. It's like, well, that's because you're, you're not overloading the muscle, you know? So you gotta continue to lift heavy and lift really hard and that's how you get shredded and look really good. So anyway, we did uh, four sets of pull downs here. We did two sets of wide grip. Sorry, sometimes he started before the thing was focusing, so I was sitting there trying to focus it. I think it kind of looks cool sometimes. But um, we did four sets of pull downs. Uh, we were aiming for like 15 reps, and then like 12, and then 10, 8. Getting, just going heavier as we went, but making sure we were warmed up. And uh, various grips there, too wide, too close. From there, so what I like to do is, I like to do one pull, one pull down movement and one rowing movement. I just go back and forth. Uh, to give my lower back a little bit of a break and um, here we went to t-bar rows and we actually did i think we did like a set with one plate a set with two plates and then we started doing working sets with three plates i might even have gone up to four plates i can't remember but um things that you want to focus on when doing t-bar rows squ squeezing your shoulder blades back together and reaching all the way down and letting them get a full stretch in your lat um, so yeah t-bar row is one of my favorites and yeah, from there we went, we actually did a drop set too that we didn't film where we just basically hit as many as we could for every single plate, like just one after another after another. Very, very good for burning tons of calories and uh, activating growth in your back. From there we went to these uh, seated rows. I do these seated rows all different kinds of ways. Sometimes I'll be a little bit more strict with my form. Sometimes I get a real good deep stretch at the bottom and I'll I'll rock a little bit, but I'm not using my rocking movement to pull up the weight. I'm still activating my lats and my back to do it. Um, so we were doing a superset here, seated rows with uh, pullovers or pull downs, I guess you would call it. You don't need a lot of weight with these pull downs. Um, the whole point of this is uh, it's really an isolation exercise to try and get those lats nice and stretched and um, just kind of exhaust the muscle fibers in there. So make sure you get a good big squeeze up over your head there. And then when you come down, squeeze the shit out of your lats at the bottom of the movement and it burns like crazy but it's a very very good superset here and here you see mark's set it was funny because uh i noticed one thing about mark's training is and you know we're all guilty of it where you get to a certain rep range you know you're like oh i'm gonna do 10 reps you get to 10 reps you stop when maybe you could have done 12 reps or 15 reps or 20 reps and so a lot of the times in my training i'll just be like okay just do as many as you can here. And then somebody will go ahead and do 20 reps and I'm like, yeah, see, you need, you need to be doing more weight. You don't just stop when you get to a certain percentage. You just, you just, you stop when you can't do anymore. I mean, that's what it takes to overload the muscle and to build muscle. So, um, I mean, yeah, there's days when you're just kind of going through the, the, the movements and uh, you're tired, you're whatever. But um, if you want to build muscle guys, especially for people who are natural, um, you really have to overload the muscle. You have to tear those fibers and beat those fibers up and tell your body that, hey, I need to be able to push this weight when you're failing and that's what stimulates growth. Because if you can already do the reps, then your body's not stimulated. It's, it, it, there's no need for it to grow. It's like, okay, yeah, I already did the weight that he wanted, so why would I grow? So keep that in mind, guys. Um, you gotta have that kind of killer instinct to go in and just fight through that pain barrier and just crush those freaking you know, those reps, those 10s, 12s, 13 reps when you don't want to do it and it's burning like crazy, that's when you're stimulating your muscles to grow. Um, and then obviously outside of the gym, you have to make sure you're getting enough rest. Getting, I like to get eight, eight or nine hours of sleep at night um, and getting a ton of protein because that's what your body uses to rebuild your muscles, um, stuff like that. Healthy, well-balanced diet and all that kind of stuff. Nobody really talks about that kind of aspect, but in the gym, guys, you're tearing your muscles down. This is where you're tearing your muscles down. That's why they're sore the next day. It's because you literally are 
causing little tiny tears in the muscles. So if you don't give yourself the proper nutrition to build those muscles back up, you don't take proper rest, proper recovery, then you're actually just gonna keep tearing down your muscles. That's what overtraining is when you're not giving your muscles enough time to repair. So anyway, got a little off subject there, but. Um, so yeah, that was it for our back workout. We did some shrugs here at the end, but um, after that we went to our biceps. We started off with uh, just the straight bar curls and did a bunch of sets of those. And then we went to these, uh, I can't think of the name of it right now, but um, basically like preacher curls, I guess, where your arm is stationary. I really, really like these. We were just doing set of 10 on each side and then just going back and forth. He, did, he would go, I would go. Um, the rest throughout this workout we were doing, I like to keep my rest really short. I like to keep 45 seconds to a minute. Sometimes on my compound movements, my squats, deadlifts, stuff like that, I'll take maybe two minutes. But um, I always am a big advocate of less rest over the amount of weight that you're doing. So if you need to, if you go lower rest and you're and you can't push quite as much weight, in my opinion, it's better to keep that rest lower and to keep that pump going. But that's just me, and I do everything a little bit differently. But in general, I do a lot low, more low rest. Um, from there, we. Uh, went to these Smith Machine Shrugs, one of my favorites. Uh, Mark had never tried them, and uh, I think he enjoyed those. You can just get such a good squeeze. It just feels so good. Um, and what I'll do is I'll do a couple where I just pause at the top, which I learned from Damien's videos. It just kind of like gets up there, hold at the top. So you get up, one, two, and then pause, come back down. And then after I can't do any more pause reps, then I just kind of squeeze out as many reps as I can. So that's how I've been doing my shrugs lately and my uh, traps have definitely grown from that. And then at the end of my back workouts, I like to just go and uh, hit some sets of pull-ups, just as many as I can, different types of grips. So I did a couple wide grip sets and a couple uh, close grip sets where you're just burning out the rest that you have, whatever you have left in your lats, whatever you have left in your biceps. And uh, it's just a great way to, yeah, it's just a great way to end the workout. So uh, thank you, Mark, for coming. I had a great time. Um, I'll put links to his Instagram in, in the thing below, so definitely check him out. He's going to be making a YouTube channel. He's got a clothing line coming out. Very cool kid, and I'm uh, very proud of him. So uh, we'll take you out with some posing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys. It's it. Back and biceps completed. My boy Mark. I'll put links to his Instagram and stuff in the description below. Be sure to check him out and show him some love. He's a young kid. He's going to do great things. So. Now we're gonna do some posing for you guys. Of course, means we gotta get rid of these shirts. Do it. Mark is gonna be competing in physique in the future. Probably next May. So, pretty chubby right now, but I'll have to cut down. So you can see the difference between somebody who's conditioned like 10 and like, out. Yeah. Jared's probably, you're probably what, like 6%, 7? I'd say 7.5 right now, maybe. 7.5. Yeah. I'm about 11 and a half, 12 right now. So you can see the difference. But it looks like, but he's putting on some serious size, man. How much do you weigh right now? 173 bucks. So you're gonna, how tall are you? 5'10, 5'11. Okay. So I'm 5'10, yeah, 176 right now. So you can see the difference. Oh yeah, Jared's got much better ab separation there. Like I said, guys, I'm, I've been dieting down for about three months now, so. Chest is coming in, shoulders, triceps, yeah. And so I, I showed him some posing. Um, what was that, three months ago or something? Yeah, three or four months ago we did a leg workout. Yeah. And you've been practicing, it seems like. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, men's physique poses, boom, right there. Keep in mind, we have no pump right now in the front of our body. And then transition over to my other side. Back pose? Yeah, let's do it. And I do a slight variation on mine. And then back to the front. It's that simple, guys. That's all men's physique is right there. All so the rest is your conditioning, your posing on stage, and all the rest of that. So that's what it looks like right now. I still need to add some thickness in my back, but it's looking not... pretty good. This guy's got some great strength for conditioning down. <laughs> He's pulling four plates for a double and Going really heavy on those rows. Having some fun, yeah. man. Some good work. So uh, yeah. we're actually going to go back and finish some more biceps with the lady at the lead. 
So uh, <laughs> we'll try and film some for you guys. So you'll probably see that before this clip. But hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, share it with your friends. Get some people to come lift with you. Having a training partner makes all the difference. Oh yeah, having one that pushes you too. Yeah. Not just one that you go by with. Yeah, don't let people slack on, on reps. Friends don't let friends get reps. <laughs> anyway, until next time guys. Mark, Jared. Alright bro. Stay jacked. It's crazy sometimes thinking You can own a piece of the world It's just floating through Yeah.